Today's video, I want to talk about Sawyer's Premium Insect Repellent with Permethrin. Some of you all know that I was diagnosed with Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever due to a tick bite at some point in time since living down here on the lake, and I'm getting extremely serious on some tick combat for 2022, and this is just one of the things that I'm doing to help prevent from further tick bites. As you can see, this repellent uh, repels against mosquitoes that may carry Zika, West Nile virus, dengue, chikungunya, and yellow fever, along with just about every tick-borne virus that a tick can give you. It can help fight against it. Now, if you look here, the CDC has got a list of the tick-borne diseases in the United States. It's quite extensive. I do believe there is over 15 to 20 different diseases alone in the United States. You can see that PDF file if you want to go to their website and download it. But here's just an overview of the different things ticks can give you from a single bite. Some nasty stuff. Also, here are the most common ticks in the United States. You've got the black-legged tick, which I see a lot of those. Uh, you've got the Lone Star tick, which I just pulled on off Jamie, my collie, last night. The American dog tick, she gets a lot of those. The brown dog tick. You've got the greyhound tick. The Gulf Coast tick. The Rocky Mountain wood tick. Soft tick. Man, he's ugly. You've got the western black-legged tick. And then you got ticks that commonly bite humans, which is the black tick and the Lone Star, I believe. So what is pimethrin? Pimethrin is an insecticide in a pyrethroid family. Pyrethroids are synthetic chemicals that act like natural extracts from the chrysanthemum flower. Permethrin is used in a number of ways to control insects. Products containing permethrin may be used in public health mosquito control programs. They may be used on food and feed crops or ornamental lawns, on livestock and pets, in structures and buildings, and on clothing. Permethrin may also be used in places where food is handled, such as restaurants, Permethrin was first registered in the United States by the Environmental Protection Agency in 1979. Also, the U.S. military uses permethrin on all their uniforms, called the DOD Insect Repellent System. Now, the Department of Defense has been using permethrin on their military uniforms for about 20 years, and it has had an impeccable track record, and there has been no long-term side effects to the soldiers that have been using permethrin or wearing the uniforms that have been soaked in permethrin. So where might one find these creepy crawly little bastards known as ticks? Well, where I live, there's a lot of leaf litter. I live kind of in the woods, by the lake, and there's a lot of deer traffic that comes through my yard just about every place you look. And from my personal experience, where the deers travel, there's a lot heavier tick traffic, basically. So... Where do you find the heaviest concentration of ticks? Well, like I said, if you have a lot of leaf litter on the ground, they love it. Snakes also love lake litter, or not lake litter, but leaf litter. Uh, anytime you have the wood line and it comes and it meets a cleared out area, that wood line, you'll find a lot of ticks. Also, the shadier areas of your yard. And from what I can tell, the ticks are less prevalent in the sunnier parts of the yard. So the shady parts, that's where you'll find more ticks, or at least in my experience. So let's apply some permethrin. First thing you're going to need is a good set of gloves, and I like the Venom Steel Industrial Gloves. I've been using these for about six or seven years, especially when I do a lot of detail work or any type of light chemicals like insect repellents and stuff like that. I always wear these. They feel good. They're not cheap gloves. They're... Um, they're pretty pretty sturdy for some rubber gloves. Also, I got this tick check kit off Amazon. It comes with a little pry bar and a nice set of tweezers. Uh, I've used these probably four or five times in the last week and a half since I got the tools to get ticks off Jamie. And I like them a lot. They're a good heavy duty tool. I don't know if it's like a heavy grade aluminum or it kind of feels like steel. Kind of like surgical grade. Uh, and the tweezers are really nice too. They're uh, You don't have a dead spot in your little picking up points on your tweezers. Now the instructions say there's enough product here to treat five garments and clothing. clothing. That's your shoes, your socks, your pants, and your shirt. And they also recommend not to apply it to hats because if you're working or doing stuff outside when it's hot, you might sweat 
and you might get something come down in your eyes i guess that's the only thing i can think of so i didn't apply it to my hat at all so if you can see here i've got my gloves on and i've shook the stuff up really well and i'm going to saturate the crap out of my boots because it's just i wear these things 24 7 and i want to make sure every single little part of these boots are just saturated so i probably put two garments worth of product on my boots alone now if you look here on the directions it says shake well before using and to it repels and kills mosquitoes sugars mites and ticks including ticks which carry lyme disease and rocky mountain spotted fever sounds like a winner to me Keep in mind that this sprayer on this gun puts out a lot of product with one trigger squeeze and it atomizes the, the product very well. And I didn't really notice it a whole lot until I watched this video and I seen how much of this stuff was just dripping off my boots. I mean, it got soaked. So keep that in mind when you're spraying your clothing that don't sit there in one spot and pull that trigger two three times or you're going to really 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 saturate your clothing keep in mind also not to be too close to your garment because it's like i said it's got a fairly wide spray pattern so you can probably sit back six to ten inches and get a nice even coverage on your clothing now if you're having a, a slightly breezy day then you won't you don't want to be too far away uh, also, if you are spraying it and it's just slightly breezy and the product will tend to carry, you might want to wear some type of little face mask just to be safe, you know. Now here's where my genius sometimes scares the crap out of me. I didn't pay attention. Uh, when I laid out my tactical pants, but I, I put them on top of a stack of pallets about 25 high. And I'm just out here walking on top of these stack of pallets and <laughs> spray, spraying my jeans. And I'm like, man, this thing is wobbly. And uh, <laughs> uh, I amaze myself sometimes. I'm really surprised I don't get hurt a lot more. Uh, oh, also notice the Drake camouflage socks. Those suckers are good. Yes, they make some exceptional socks. You can find those on Amazon if you too would like a pair of camo socks. Just don't lose them. You'll never find them again, I promise you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> now once I treated my pants, my shirt, and my boots i let them dry for about two and a half to three hours and i came back out to check on them they were dry to the touch and i went ahead and put them on because i wanted to wear them a good 24 hours or close to it to see if i notice any type of odd chemical smells or skin irritations on my body and as you can see here i've had them on for close to 24 hours minus when i went to sleep and i've got no noticeable you know side effects which it's good now the instructions say not to apply this stuff like on the inside of your clothing but I want to spray just a little bit inside my pant legs in case they did get on my boots and start going up my pants they would also have to deal with the permethrin so that's why I did that. From what I have read is that if a tick has contact with permethrin for at least 60 seconds he gonna die basically is what I read. So. I want to make sure that he's got to go through at least 60 seconds of product before he gets to where he can bite me. I just want him to die and go away. I just want to say something really quick. If you like high quality American made apparel, please go check out ACAL Apparel. Now, I'm not being sponsored. They're not paying me to say this. I paid for this shirt with my own money. And I must say, I've never had a finer shirt in my life. This shirt is 100% made in America by Americans. The cotton is grown in America. All the inks and stuff are made in America by Americans. It's a very small company. 
you may know, know who Adam Calhoun is, you may not, but I just want to say I've probably wore this shirt at least twice a week for the last eight and a half months. I've probably washed this thing a hundred times and the uh, all the the graphics and stuff are still just like the day that I bought it. The ink's not faded on the shirt at all. It's just a super high quality shirt and it's not a bunch of garbage like you get with like the shirts from like Black Rifle Coffee Company or uh, what's that other grunt speak all their shits made in Taiwan or whatever and just they suck so go check out eight cow apparel well, it's been about two and a half hours again with these pieces of clothing and my pants are dry to the touch my shirt here is dry to the touch there's no strange chemical smell or anything this smells like I just got it out of the washer which is pretty cool so I think it's time to get this stuff inside because we're getting ready to have some really bad storms coming in and I don't want to let the rain get this stuff wet. Oh, one more thing is Sawyer says on their instructions that one application of their chemical will last up to six washes or 45 days, whichever come first. And then you'll just have to reapply it and stuff like that. Now, as far as my boots go... I think I will probably reapply this, say, about once every three weeks, just to be on the safe side. Anything I can do to kill these little creeper crawly bugs, these ticks, these things are nasty. If none of you all know anything about Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever or Lyme disease, it's not a good thing. There's a 50-50% chance that your test will come back negative and you still have it. It's very hard to detect it in your body. Uh... Just this year alone, the lady that lives behind me got Lyme disease. And then three or four years ago, there's another lady at the, the beginning of my subdivision. She got Lyme disease. Uh, and they have all kinds of health effects. And I also work with a guy that's got, I think it's called Alphagal or Alphagal or whatever. He got bit by a tick. And then just next thing he knows, he's allergic to about everything that he eats. About 80% of the stuff that he's used to eating he can't eat it anymore. He can't eat red meat. He can't eat a bunch of vegetables. He's gluten intolerant now. Uh, he really has to be careful what he eats. And he has to walk around with an EpiPen uh, every day now just because of one stupid little tick. So, you know, I used to just kind of laugh and, oh, tick, no big deal. I'll just pick them off. I'm not going to get nothing. Then I got Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, and it changed my life. Now, thank the baby Jesus that the uh, the potency of the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever that I have, I've not noticed really any any adverse side effects other than getting the occasional rash, which if you look on my arm, I don't know if that's Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever related, but I'm treating it as if it's, uh, it is. Uh, my doctor thinks it's more along the lines like poison oak, poison sumac, because it does itch. And from what I understand and doctors have told me, uh, the rash with the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever doesn't itch, so that's good. But you know, they're still got me on antibiotics just in case, and uh, they got me a topical cream to treat if it is, uh, you know, like poison sumac, poison oak, poison ivy, which is all over this damn place. So there's that. And the storms are coming now. Sawyer says that that the permethrin in that spray bottle will trade up to five garments i got two and a half basically i got two pairs of jeans two shirts two pairs of socks and an odd shirt so i think it's pretty good considering i did my boots with enough product that could have probably done two garments on its own so guys i really want to say uh, i appreciate all y'all i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video I appreciate all the people that subscribe. And if you have not subscribed, if you would, kindly do so. 8% of my views are from subscribers. <laughs> Everything else is just from people finding my videos on the internet, which I don't understand that when the videos are posted on YouTube. I don't know. It is what it is. So if you would, even if you hated the video, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, you can't understand how much that helps a guy out and helps his channel grow. Also, if you are interested in the products I used in the video, please see the description below. I will have links to Amazon, 
uh, and you can go check all this stuff out yourself again Amazon pays me a very small small commission off each sale that is made from those links and that that commission does not affect the price of the product at all and that helps me out a great deal I'm gonna go batten down the hatches and get me a beverage and watch these storms roll in so I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video